Hello everyone. Welcome to sunny and cold Pangborn. Although it's only cold on the boat because we're under a few trees so there's a lot of shade. So yeah, today we are going towards Reading almost, well we are going to Kravishtim to get water because that's where the closest working functional water tap is. Um, and then getting gas, uh, topping up diesel and then coming back up here somewhere. A week with the new floor, how has it been? Oh, so much better. So nice. I feel like we live in a luxury yacht again. Yeah, I love it. Oh, it smells good. Well, I was going where the carpet lie up. Because you said we went going to away. So you can get a new one. Yeah, the floor is so good we don't need a carpet. The floor is so good, we don't need a carpet just yet. But we might do. So we get rid of the old one. It wasn't very pretty. It was an offcut from an old house. That looked Done. You can do it. Sure. Some tiles left over from the fireplace actually the real slate um, but I think we'll just put them in the back for some ballast we need some ballast at the moment a bit wonky I hope there's no crayfish in here Yeah, you got a crumble. I'm um, not making any more crumbles, but I'll eat this. Whoa, harvest!
got to Tesco last night um, in Reading and for those of you that have boated um, through Reading you will, you'll know the Tesco in it. There was not a single boat on the Tesco uh, moorings when we got here last night. Never, never happened before. Uh, we know why now basically. All of uh, the conkers are falling off the tree. This morning it was like doo, 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 with all the conkers falling on the roof. Um, I was literally just walking under there now and the wind blew and it was it was like an air raid. Um, yeah, could hurt someone. Um, but yeah, we're at Reading, um, we're heading back to Pangbourne. We've done a pit stop at Better Boating and we've also done a pit stop obviously at Tesco. Uh, we've got a few bits, so yeah, we're going to be cruising back up. Oh yeah, we need to get some water as well, for sure. Um, we'll do that in Cavisham hopefully at the boat hire place there. So last year, any time we got to Tesco's here, it was all really busy and we couldn't even moor up. But I think the reason last year was so busy because the K&A at the kind of the, one of the first locks to k &A was shut. So loads of boats, including hire boats, were camped out here, moored up here, tr waiting for the lock to open. And obviously everything works this year. So I think it's, um, yeah, there's room and it was really, I, pretty much impossible to moor up here for the shop uh, last year and also Miles bought this uh, lovely fleece uh, that is being tested right now by me which is really warm I better give it back to you suits you with that hat it matches the hat is right? it? yeah 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 oh, going the wrong way not for long we'll do a Yui in a minute Such a lovely day for cruising today. Very well, it's a bit windy actually, sunny but cold. We watched uh, Jan and Tony's video um, from Making Memories. Check out their channel. They uh, did the Thames from Limehouse to Teddington. Yeah. Uh, well, they did it both ways actually, didn't they? Well, I won't spoil it, but um, it wasn't eventless, let's say. It's something we've always wanted to do, um, but we just haven't yet got around to doing it. I don't think there's anything cooler than going through London on a narrow boat. Um, very unexpected. But they also did it with another couple, Steve and Christine. They've, they've got um, a couple of channels actually, um, and a very good live stream. So go check them out. We'll put links in the description below. But yeah, feeling a bit inspired. I think next year we'd love to do um, going through Tower Bridge to Limehouse. Sometimes we remember to uh, get the camp chair out on a cruise and then one of us can actually sit very comfortably. Um, so we did that today and because of the stern wall, stern wall here, it add, is actually uh, serves as a windbreak, so um, it's quite a warm place to be. Thanks so much to Jackery for sponsoring this episode. By using Jackery Solar Generator 1000 and Solar Saga 100 panels, we save hours of running the engine. We charge it up through solar during the day 
and then use the energy when we need it after the sunset or early in the morning also being moored up next to other boats it helps us not to run the engine that extra time avoiding making any noise it keeps the river life quiet and beautiful just how we all want it we use jackery every day mostly for work from home and charging our laptops a few weeks ago we had our floor fixed so we needed to use power tools outside and jackery was very helpful for that it also charges our vacuum cleaner, blender, electric scooter, camera batteries and even our hairdryer and steamer. I don't think we could work from the boat all these years without Jackery. It's so nice to be able to have all the power we need reliably and most importantly not to worry about it. This year marks Jackery's 10th anniversary. As winter is approaching and it's getting colder day by day, the less light there is, the more we use Jackery to save on energy costs. To help you to save on bills too, Jackery has prepared a huge giveaway. You can now win Jackery Solar Generator 1000 by following the link in the description. Also, don't forget to visit Jackery's website for special vouchers and other gifts. Brush. Since the whole kitchen was taken out for the floor job a few weeks ago, the drain pipe under the sink was disconnected. So we're making sure it probably fits and is covered in silicone. Maybe if you could just put that on the front so I'm not drifting away. I'm going to do laundry in the laundrette where we're moored right now there is no water point nearby so we don't want to waste water we haven't done laundry in a very long time so I'm taking all of it I'm gonna take a trolley because there is so much of it um, and just get it all done in one day We rarely go to laundrettes as we have a small washing machine on board that works really well. However, as getting water has been a nightmare, we've not been using it for clothes. When I got to the laundrette, I was sent away because it was full. There is such a thing. It seemed that the whole village decided to wash their duvets all in one day. I ended up taking the whole thing back and then coming back to the laundrette in a few hours. Consistently, for a boat job, it took three times longer than expected. However, we ended up running into Andy, who we met on the river last year, and we spent a lovely evening in the pub exchanging boat stories. About two weeks later, when it was getting dark, we ran out of water. This time though, we filled up in a very unusual way. Our neighbours, Pete and Natalie, 
have a genius system of water filtration on their wide beam and they kindly offered us to fill up. We doubled moored next to them and tried the magical way of getting water straight from the River Thames. time is seven this is off grid real off grid real off grid very impressive setup and just like that in less than an hour and without having to move much we were drinking water from the river which of course was highly cleansed, treated and all that amazing stuff going down to microns. So far this has been the easiest and the most fun way we ever got our water tank full. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you're new here. A huge thank you to our Patreons for supporting our creations, especially to those who are showing up on the screen. I'm pleased to say that Zoe's boat has been sold within days since we posted the tour of Marigold. If you have a quirky boat for sale, maybe get in touch and we might be able to help you out. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.